in a mess right now, and we're going to need someone who's going to fight for us to change it, right? Unfortunately, we have a candidate who's smart enough and tough enough to fight to make change happen. And that's our Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton. I'm sure there's a lot of families that are like us that are feeling the cash crunch. We pay our bills on time, but when we pay them, there's hardly anything left, if at all. Gas prices keep going up every day. This past week, I spent $100 to fill up my truck. Last night, I filled my wife's car up. It cost $55 for 15 gallons of gas, and that was the cheap gas. You know, we have to do something about that. Thousands of people were standing out in the rain for a couple hours in order to see her. Enthusiasm I haven't seen for a long time. We, we have a crisis in this country. The biggest crisis I've seen in 35 years that I've been in Congress. When, when the Clinton administration left, we had a surplus in the budget. Now there's almost a trillion dollar deficit. And who's going to change that? Susie and Harley Skaggs are the reason I'm in this race. Families like them. Families like you and yours. People who get up and work really hard every day. David's not asking for a lot. He just wonders how he's going to make ends meet if filling up his truck costs $100 and filling up his wife's car costs more than 50 He just wants to be sure that the daughter he's so proud of gets a chance to go to college. Something that should be available to every single American student who works hard and is willing to take this week, Senator Obama and I, thank you. This week, Senator Obama and I had uh, a debate, and it showed you the choice you have on Tuesday. We both got asked a lot of tough questions. I'm used to that. That goes with the territory. The tough questions you get asked in a debate are nothing compared to the tough decisions you have to make in the White House with so much at stake for our country and our world. And I think that debate showed a big difference to a lot of people between me and my opponent. It's really a choice of leadership. And I'm offering leadership that you and your families can count on. Experience, strength, Readiness for whatever may come our way. I believe I have a unique set. Senator McCain has no plan to end the housing foreclosure crisis or cut the cost of gas at the pump. Is that better than George Bush? We need a nominee who will take on John McCain, not cheer on John McCain. And I will be that nominee. who took care of the wealthy and the well-connected. Now we need a president who's going to take care of the middle class and working people and get up every day in the White House to make your lives better. We're going to have to get tough on China because they are not following the rules. They're manipulating their policy. And I'm convinced that we have to stand up despite the fact we're in a much weaker position because George Bush borrows money every single day to pay the interest on the debt that he helped to create. So we're going to have to get tough on China, but we're going to have to also get tough on ourselves and on these failed Republican policies and get back to what works in America and be sure that we are moving toward a strong economy again. Let's incentivize manufacturing. Let's invest in new, clean, renewable energy jobs. I think we can create about five million. system that works for everyone and provides health insurance that is affordable and of good quality because that's not happening today. I, how many of you know somebody who's uninsured? Yeah. 
And how about this question? How many of you know somebody, maybe you yourselves, who have insurance but you have to fight with the insurance company to get the insurance company to pay for what the doctor says you need? See, we got two big problems, so here's my solution. Number one, if you have health insurance and you're happy with it, nothing changes. You've got a good policy through your union or through your employer, nothing changes. But if you don't have it, or it's not good enough for what you and your family need, or it's too expensive, we're going to open up the plan Congress has to get health insurance, and we're going to make it available to every single American. The so we can drop the price, but mostly we need to take on the oil producing countries and the oil companies with a declaration of energy independence, which I am going to champion as your president. Our young men and women in uniform have done everything they were asked to do. They were asked to get rid of Saddam Hussein, and they did. They were asked to give the Iraqis free and fair elections, and they did. They were asked to give the Iraqi government the space and time to make the decisions that only the Iraqis can make for themselves. And they did that as well. There is no military solution. The future of Iraq is up to the Iraqis. They have been given the most precious gift they could have been given, the gift of freedom. Well, there's a lot to be done, but I think we're up to it, don't you? can't do it once we make our minds up to actually solving our problems. We're not going to solve problems with speeches. We're going to solve problems with strength and experience that knows how to get the job done and produce results for the American people. That is what I'm offering and that is what I need your help on. Come Tuesday in the primary. So think about it this way. Who would you hire for the toughest job in the world? Who would you hire to turn the economy around? on Tuesday, I promise I will work my heart out for you. We will take our country back and we will once again be the great good nation that all of us know we can be. Thank you all. And God bless you.